On the 31st of July 2023, Bannock Parkway station opened. And I said during that video, Britain's newest railway station, which has that title for the next 24 hours. Because on the 1st of August 2023, the Great Western Railway have opened a new station. And this station is Portway Park and Ride. And this is why you join me in Bristol, because we're going to be seeing Portway Park and Ride today. I'm waiting for the 1046 Great Western Railway service to Seven Beach so we can visit this new railway station. So welcome to Portway Park and Ride, Britain's newest railway station and it will have that title a bit longer than Fallet Parkway did to be honest with you. But what I have noticed when I got off the train is passengers did use this station. Also it's just the one platform here which can accommodate five coaches. And we also got a guest with us because Tico's joined us. Hello, hello everybody, Portway Park and Ride, new station, come and have a look. Yeah, it's only down the road, Master. Down you? the road? Yes, yeah, only down the road. How are we doing? You alright, Tico? I'm good, how are you? I'm alright, thanks. Excellent. So Portway Park and Ride Station is actually on the Seven Beach Line between Avonmouth, which is the next stop in that direction, and towards Bristol Temple Beat as well. So if you want to know where that station is, it's on the Seven Beach Branch Line, near Avonmouth. Also, another thing with this railway station is that the M5, this bridge that's right behind me here, actually dominates the backdrop of this station. So even though the station was built in 2023, the railway actually came here very much earlier. It actually came through here on the 6th of March, 1865, by the Bristol Port Railway and Pier. Very interesting name indeed. And also this station was actually started planned in 2009, but the approval for this station was in 2012. And it, they started building this in 2021 and it's roughly cost between 3.4 million and 3.6 million pounds to build this railway station. So at the north end of this railway station, you actually got a weighted shelter just right here. You also got a card reader here, a couple of bin bags, all the exits to the station is also here as well. So there is two exits for this railway station. And it's also got the timetable information there as well. Also on the platform there are benches here as well so you can have a nice sit down and enjoy the sun from without using a shelter. And Tico should sit there right now, are you? Yeah. How's the bench? Alright. So a bit further up on the platform from that bench you also got your help point which is just right here and then right next door to the help point is the dock matrix screen as well. So at the north end of the railway station looking towards Avonmouth you've got another weighted shelter that's just here but right next door to that you do have the ticket machine and this ticket machine is only card only I'm afraid it's not cash just card only ticket machine and then also here you have bin bags which are blowing in the breeze and you also got another smart card reader here as well. You got two actually. Yeah. 
So also at the north end of Portway Park and Ride Station looking towards Avonmouth, there is actually an exit just up here as well, which is a little path that takes you up to the car park. And believe it or not, that was the area that I filmed the video teasing this station for the Marsh Barton video. Let's take a look at it there right now. So we're standing here last time do the teaser for Portway Park and Ride. This time though, the gates are open, which you can go onto the platform now. But also here, you've got your onward travel information, which is just right here, telling you about the station and the onward travel information around the area. A little bit further down here, you've got some cycle shelters, which you can park your bikes there. Unfortunately though, you can't have them under lock and key like a Fallot Parkway. And then around here, you've got a big massive car park just right here, which could house about 830 cars here. That's a lot of parking spaces, to be honest with you. And then also, in, in a second, we're going to take a look, is the bus shelters, which is the bus stop, because Portway Park and Ride, the bus interchange with the car park was actually built in 2002. It actually came before the station, and that's how the station's got its name, Portway Park and Ride. So the railway station is just over there and you head this way, hello Tico, Hello. is the bus interchange just in that direction. And this is the part where you can interchange with the buses here which do have a frequent service to Bristol. And I thought it would be bigger than this to be honest but it's just one bus stop shelter, one massive bus stop shelter. Anyway that's enough of the buses. Portway Park and Ride. It's just a nice station, but it's also just got the basic facilities, to be honest with you. Yeah. But it has really been a good time looking at this railway station, even though it just accommodates five coach trains and it's just a single platform station. However, though, we shall be leaving on the 1314 Great Western Railway Service to go back towards Bristol Temple Meads. And before that train comes in, just want to say, go to Scrite Tico Sprinter. Thank you. <laughs> He Very does kind of you. blogs, live streams for Trading World and Trading Simulator, Trading Ventures, Simulator. Vlog, Ventures, Ventures, Vlogs, Trading Spotting, Live Streams, Q&A's and all that. Anything rare related, go subscribe to Tico. Thank you very much. So now back at Bristol Temple Meads where we started this morning, visiting Portway Park and Ride has really been a wonderful experience to be honest and I've met so many people and I had a nice chat with you all I just want to say thank you. Also met with Tico Sprinter as we spent the day at Portway Park and Ride and we also bumped into Jay on the move as well and there's many more people. But it's about time to drop this video right here. This is Fanet Parkway, which had the title of Britain's newest station for 24 hours. Give that a click. Keep on screen now, YouTube channel members and Patreon supporters. Thank you for supporting the channel. I've been Sire Trace. Thank you very much for watching. Stay safe. I'll see you Sunday for another video.